How's it going guys? KC9CUK here with another video. This video is going to be on the CyberPower UPS units. So CyberPower battery backups. You can buy these uh, back up your computer you know, in case the power goes out. You don't uh, lose what you're working on in the middle of it. It gives you time to shut down your computer, protects your computer. Anyway, um, this pertains to these units. Um, when you turn them on and they just beep continuously. And this is from a customer. It says it beeps continuously. Can you fix it? I said, yes, yeah, send it to me. So this is a 585VA. Um, this applies to a lot of the cyber power units. Um, you know, the CP series, the 585, 600, 700, 785, 825, 850, etc. Uh, so if you have a cyber um, power um, UPS unit, or, or uh, battery backup, you might want to try this. So if you turn your unit on, it should beep twice to check. But if it keeps on beeping like that, over and over, beep, 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 series of double beeps, what you can do is first you can hold down this mode button, and that will silence the beep. It doesn't fix the problem. It just silences the, the uh, little beeper. And if we look at the unit, I don't know if we can see that too well on the camera, so that says it's got uh, runtime is 82 minutes, which uh, I doubt it. Um, zero percent on, I believe. Uh, what's that? What's that? Hard to read here. Yeah, on the capacity. 100 percent on <laughs> the the battery, uh, and that's the voltage going into the unit. So I already know what the problem is with this unit. I've done this. I've had these a lot, so I won't waste your time. Uh, going through all that, but anyway, so what we can do is we turn the power unit unit off Okay <clears throat> And you know, of course you you, you want to disconnect um, the get disconnected from the power um, Disconnect any if you have the USB cable hooked up to it to go to a computer or whatever you can disconnect it You want to flip it over? And you have a compartment in the back. That's got a single screw right there at least on the CP models. We'll go ahead and remove that And then there'll be a battery in here. It'll just be a little 7 amp hour, 12 volt battery. Now, I've already had the luxury of taking this out to help the video be a little quicker. So if you look inside of the unit, you'll have two connectors, uh, a red hot lead uh, for your positive and black. And they're just uh, little spade connectors. And <clears throat> this is where your, your little battery goes. So let me grab that real quick. Uh, just get a replacement battery here. And what causes the units to do this is two things. Either the battery is completely shot, meaning it's 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 so bad it's not even showing the unit it has a battery, so it'll beep continuously. Um, and I just I, I I I use these a lot. These are the Mighty Max batteries. Uh, they're one of the cheapest. They're under twenty bucks. You can't beat them. Um, you know, people say, oh, you know, what's the quality? I don't know. This is the model uh, MIL twelve. I mean MIL seven twelve. You can look them on Amazon, eBay, etc. Um, but it's just 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery. And this is what you'll find in most of these little UPS units. So if you have one, you don't have to go to the manufacturer and spend $40 for a battery. Uh, these are under 20 bucks. So anyway, so what I'm going to do quickly, just for a quick test, and you guys could do this at home or in your shop, is go ahead and take the battery out of the unit, okay? And <clears throat> what we can do is for a temporary test, take a couple alligator clips, and we'll go ahead and hook them up to the unit first. Red, positive to positive, of course. Uh, negative to negative, of course. And what we're doing here is simulating as if we had a battery in the unit. Um, let's make sure these are not going to cross. As if we had a battery inside of the unit already. Um, and this is because uh, once you put the battery, it's kind of heavy in. You know, it's nice to be able to just test it. Um, to make sure it's going to fix the problem. So we go ahead and clip the lead on there, clip the lead on there. So now we have a brand new battery hooked up to it. Go ahead, turn the unit on. Does its double beep for its self test. And you notice now, now it's not beeping. And you just heard the relay click. It's checking the battery. Um, the battery might not be 100% charged, but it's, it's really close. And now the unit is happy. No more beeping. And the problem fixed. So of course we're going to go ahead and shut that off. Disconnect 
the leads. And you could do that with, uh, normally I don't do it with a battery. Normally I, I just have it hooked up to, uh, I slap one of my power supplies in it just to check it. Uh, you can also take your multimeter, check the charging, and make sure this thing is properly charging. A couple things you can do, but yeah, there's, there's not a lot of information on these on the internet. And the cyber power <clears throat> um, information isn't the greatest. Unfortunately, it really doesn't explain to the customer um, that the continuous double beeping means that the battery's shot or um, bad. And that's 90% of the time what it is. So let's go ahead and set that down in there, make sure none of our cables get disconnected or crossed. <clears throat> Try to stay in frame here. Yeah, and if anybody's watching this, this helps anybody out. I hope that's that's the reason I did this. Um, it's just uh, so hopefully it helps somebody out. This just go ahead and slides back on. Got a Phillips screwdriver. Um, normally I wouldn't use a powered little screwdriver for this, but just for simplicity. Be careful not to cross thread that. Turn it back on, and we can just turn it back on for a test. Now it beeps one twice for its self check. And there you go, you got 122 volts. It says 82 minute runtime. And this will change drastically. One other thing I want to point out um, on these units. I have had these units where you get them and they're doing the same thing. You turn them on, you plug them in, or you plug them in, you turn them on. They do the double beep self test and then they just continue to beep over. Beep, 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 beep. If the units have been in storage and they haven't been plugged in in a long time, sometimes the internal battery will be drained down, but it'll still be good. I mean, for the cost of what the batteries are, you can just replace it regardless. But if you want to be double sure, what you can do is go ahead and turn on the unit. It'll be driving you crazy with the beeps. Hold down the mode, silence the beep, and then leave it plugged in for two, you know, like, like two days. To be honest, 48 hours is more than enough. And then what you can do, turn the unit off, maybe even unplug it from the wall, plug it back in, turn it on, and see if the if the beeps are there, still there. It the battery might come back. It might just need a little bit of charge, um, because I have seen that too, where I've left the units on, plugged in, <clears throat> and then a, a day later it come back, and now they working they're working great in the battery. And I tested the battery, and you know plugged in a light bulb or you know whatever I had at, at the bench at the time, plugged it in, uh, pulled the unit power to make sure the little inverter in here is working. And it, it, you know, it was running. It was running off the battery. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I hope that helps somebody um, with the cyber power uh, battery backup UPS units. Um, if you get the double beep over and over and over and over, most likely you've got a dead short, a dead shorted battery, or the battery is completely shot. So leave it plugged in for a couple days. That doesn't fix it. Go ahead and before you buy the battery online, like I said, you can pull the battery out. <clears throat> and disconnect the terminals, set that battery off to the side, and you can hook up like a 12 volt power supply or alligator clips leads from like another battery, maybe a small motorcycle battery, or if you have another one of these batteries, or a battery from another unit, to check if that's gonna fix it. If that fixes it, order yourself up a battery, and you've got a perfectly good working unit. Uh, if you haven't liked um, and subscribed to my channel here, please do. I appreciate the support. Everybody have a great, great day.